Hello, welcome to today's video on C. Today we are going to take C debugging. Okay, C debugging quiz. We are going to make sure you read through 0x3, 0x03 C debugging. Okay, make sure you read through. Then we are going to take the quiz later. We'll do the the tax okay so our number one question our number one question says this code does not work as intended right you can see the code so go through the code this is the code you can see the code does this code does not work right then and i say let's add print f statement to this code what information do the print f statement tell us about how our code is executed okay look this is the code okay this is the code now what information is it giving us right the information is that it's giving us that it's telling us that this uh, print f statement shows when the 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 for loop is finished right the second information again is telling us that is telling us that this print f statement shows that the break will cause for loop as to, to, to exit and eh? to print to print right indicating that in the evil number is never printed what does mean is he's saying that when this code is run when this code is run eh? it will continue if it is odd if you check if it is odd number if it is odd number it will continue if you find the evil number it will break and when it the follow breaks is breaking and it will not it it says it it will exit the code. So these two answer is the answer. Okay, that's the correct answer. Then the next question says the following code gives the output. Right, the following code gives this output. What is the error? Now, if you check from the from the from the first side, you will go through the code. See, from here, check. Just look down. You will find the error. So. You can see that the error is somewhere here. You can see that J was J was defined into uh, equal, equals to one thousand uh, equals to one thousand. Then I is greater than J. You can see that K equals to J slash ninety eight. Are you seeing it? Then if you can if you come scroll down now see this place here J. Is equal uh, is equality. This this is equality, not equals to right. So it's supposed to be that when you get to that place, J is supposed to be equal to not equal uh, like equals to two equal. So like uh, how, do I, how do I make you understand this now? I have to put screen uh, make screen to write uh, into write on the screen. So what this is saying is that j is equals to without just only one uh, equals to that means that j is equal but they're not in the same size so when you put this two now you are saying this two equals to you are saying the two is equal equal so if uh, if j is so if j anything that is equality so it's time for equality i don't know how to explain that to you without uh, writing something so that is what is bringing the error. And if you can see, there is no increment in J. Are you seeing it? There is no increment in J. So the there is, so this this is J is not supposed to be compared, right? It's supposed to be equals to, right? So now if you see in the answer in this question, if you see from this from this side, the error is showing that this is showing this place. Why? Because we want to assign J. A new value, not comparing it with this is comparison sign. Okay, this is comparison, not comparing it. Okay, that's where the problem is. So this is the answer. Now let's move to the next one. The following code gives the incorrect output. Which of the following statements about about what is causing the error is true? Okay, what is causing this error? Oh, you can see that the whole code ran infinite uh, infinite loop uh, infinitely because one let's let's see the code okay okay j also is declared there you can see j is never incremented there's supposed to be this increment for that like the way this i is incremented j is supposed to be incremented also j was never incremented 
Are you getting it? And also, j is always going to print 0 because j is equals to 0. And because there is no increment, for it to increase, j will remain 0. So this 2 is the correct answer. Right? Then, look at the following code, which is number 3. Go through the following code. Let's look at the code together. Uh -huh. So what is the code? What is the so the, what is the correct answer here? You say the, the code says um, the question say in the main dot c file. Okay, on what line does the error the first error that the first error that the compiler return? Okay, now if you see this is line one, line one. This this place here. This is line 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 sorry i'm trying to make you see it line two line three line four line five line six line seven line eight line nine line ten line eleven are you seeing it line eleven so line eleven was where the problem is okay when you count it you will see it it was in line 11 that the problem was. So let's go there and put line 11 and let's check our answer if it's correct. Oh, confirm. That means our answer is correct. So please like, subscribe, and give drop your comment. Should I do the tax for the for the C debugging? Let me know if I do the tax. Drop it on the comment section. I will take the tax up. Thank you very much and have a blessed. Please subscribe, like. Thank you.